Hi everyone, welcome to the New Look dashboard. This is a significantly improved version, hopefully a lot more clearer in terms of the trends and the data points. This is nearly fully automated. The forecast is not updated yet. Give me one more day to fix that. Quick overview of the dashboard. The, the top data point right from Nifty, Bank Nifty, international indices like SNP, NASDAQ and so on. One thing I have deprecated for now is the USD INR one that was not adding too much value. We'll bring it back if needed. The top five India stocks are mentioned on the left side. The trend is from old to new. The rightmost indicator is today's data. In terms of updates, markets were red whole day. When the top five Nifty stocks are all red, Reliance is 1% down, HDFC is down. There is no way that index can be green. Today's India market performance is perhaps representative of what happened in the US yesterday. The FI data of 10 crore is nearly zero. That does not reflect what was really happening. They nearly sold and bought 3 billion worth in total turnover was around 5.5 billion dollars for FIIs. Huge numbers being sold and bought, which probably means they are solding certain stocks maybe the reliance and HDFC of the world and buying something else. They are not exiting. They are not leaving the country. The currency rates are not going crazy. They are changing their portfolio or they are trading aggressively. One thing I need to fix is Infosys is no longer in number five. Infosys has lost a lot and ATL has been going up crazily. So ATL is now number five. SBI being number 6 and Infosys being number 7. I'll change this from the next time. This is the last week of the financial year. Two more days to go. Tax loss harvesting is the hot topic right now. Most people who are on losses, they are trying to book losses right now and gain a bit of money via tax loss harvesting. I just released an updated video on tax loss harvesting which talks about few points which were asked for in terms of clarification with an example of one trade which went wrong for me. While I don't cover persistent, it is a large stock in the IT space and it is heading for a stock split. I took some positions today, thought it will be worthwhile to mention if you are not aware that persistent, I think on Thursday it is heading for a split. Earning seasons begin soon. Earnings start somewhere around 10th of April, I believe. I'll be covering the earnings a lot more in detail this time. Do keep in mind that it is also election season. So if you're taking any position with respect to earnings, then beware of the election. One thing I've changed in this dashboard is the gold prices are now India prices, not the US prices. For the simple reason that India prices move a lot differently from US. There's a video coming up where I am going to highlight this very important point. Why investing in gold in India is a lot different from the US, which is the largest producer of gold. Crude 2 is now reflecting MCX prices. That is what matters in India. The initial data coming in from the US markets, they are looking green. However, there is an overhang of inflation in US. I don't know what is happening there. Most of the things that matter for in common man are excluded in the indices in US, just like India. So I don't know why people watch so keenly for inflation data. So the inflation overhang continues. Earnings season in US also will begin soon. This time I expect the markets to be really rough. Apple, Google, Facebook, the top companies in Dow as well as NASDAQ, they will be really under scrutiny to perform well. The P's have gone up a lot. People are expecting a lot. Apple has not been having a great season at all. This entire year has been bad for Apple. Slight miss in numbers, slight fall in numbers will create havoc in the Apple stock. Do let me know in comment section your feedback on the current dashboard. This will keep improving. I'll see you tomorrow.